This meeting of the Garrison City Council will now come to order and the chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilman Harris? Here. Councilman Williams is in the building. Councilman Avery? Here. Eccles? Here. Councilman Stewart is absent today. Councilman Cannon is also in the building. Councilman Reed? Here. We do have a quorum present. I'm counting four people and uh, the meeting is open for business. I'm going to call on Councilman Harris today to lead the invocation for us. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for the opportunity to serve in this great country, in this great city. As we, are, as we have come to you today, to present the business of the city. We ask that you will be with us, guide us, lead us, give civility, and let us give homage to those persons who are here today to be honored. And we will continue to give you all the praises, these blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and the council meeting held on July the 3rd. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of the counts for the week's week of June, June the 29th through July the 5th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamation, Mayor. At this time, Chief Crane, Chief Crane would like to make a special presentation. Chief. I'm Captain Regina May. In the early morning of Sunday, January 8th of this year, Gadsden officers responded to an alarm call at Rainbow Food Mart in the 2700 block of West Megan Boulevard. While conducting the investigation there, a second alarm went off at AutoZone in the 2800 block of Megan Boulevard. While officers were at AutoZone investigating that alarm, they heard gunfire and then another alarm call to Rainbow Food Mart, this time with glass breakage. <coughs> Officers observed a suspicious person lurking around and they gave chase. Other officers responded as backup from other agencies as well. The suspect began to fire on the officers as he changed positions, running through yards and streets and sidewalks. The suspect continued to fire on the officers but even so, they eventually pinned him down near 30th Street and Western Avenue. Officer Mitch James, a trained crisis negotiator, was working off duty at a job and heard the radio traffic. And he rushed to the scene and using his car for cover, he moved in close enough to take over negotiations which had already been started by an officer on the shift. Officer James was able to talk the suspect into surrender over eight officers were fired upon by the suspect. The officers led by Lieutenant Jeff Thomas, Sergeant Intrican, Sergeant Pierce, showed tremendous discipline and restraint by not firing back at the suspect, for by doing so, they avoided crossfires and backdrops. Department training and sound supervision contributed to everyone going home unharmed. It was only after the arrest that it was learned that the suspect had intentionally set off those alarms to lure the officers there to kill them. The suspect remains in jail awaiting trial on attempted murder charges. Today we're here to honor those officers with the Medal of Valor. This medal may be awarded based on the following criteria. The recipient must have exhibited extreme courage when faced with circumstances presenting a substantial risk to the officer's personal safety and 
the recipient's actions must have resulted in the prevention of a serious crime and or the apprehension of the perpetrators must have resulted in the prevention of death or serious physical injury to a fellow officer or another person. Ready to give the awards. Mm -hmm. Officer Colt Gregory. Accepting for Jordan Harwood, who is currently deployed, is his wife, Hannah. <laughs> Officer Stephen Hill. Officer Jeff Hopper. <laughs> Officer Mitch James. Officer Clark Thompson. <laughs> Sergeant Scott Intrican. Sergeant Gary Pierce. Thank you very much. Friends and family, police family, let's go have something to eat. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right. Well, we're trying to do that. We're going to do Greek here. Oh. Is there anybody left upstairs? Is anybody left upstairs think we're going back up there? We're not going back up there. Would you mind going up there and tell them to come down here? Yeah. Nick's going to turn it Yeah. 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 Yes. Hey, Chief, you can go ahead with them if you want to. What are we going to do about this? Take off. I'll handle the rest of the stuff for you. These first huh? two are my monsters. Okay. I'm just going to say if you wanted to. Right? Bring it up. Okay. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. All right. I think we've got enough bolts to take. Okay. I think we've got enough bolts to take. We've got enough bolts to take. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, David. David. Tell him he hadn't been with that. We're not sure. David. That's why we're fitting down there. I'm going to make a motion that we table the stipulations. Okay. And then that way we can discuss the stipulations. All right. Okay. <laughs> Unfinished business. We have two resolutions concerning uh, 425 Broad Street and 437 Broad Street. This resolution was tabled for 30 days on June the 5th. What's the pleasure of the council? Mr. President, in light of some discussion we've had, uh, I want to make a motion at this time that we table these for an additional 30 days with stipulations. Would you edify on some of those stipulations That's so that it will be in the, the records? The, the stipulations will be discussed as soon as this is over with. We, we discussed most of them upstairs, so uh, we're just going to fine tune them down here in a few minutes. Yeah. Because I would like for the record to well, show it, what it, those it The record say stipulations. The record will show the stipulations. Yeah. Okay. Did I get a second? Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table both resolutions, item 9A and 9B, for an additional 30 days with, with stipulations. Stipulate. Let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for 30 days with stipulations. <clears throat> C is a resolution ordering abatement and nuisance on property at 211 Roo Street in District 4, owned by Monica Mack. This resolution was tabled for 30 days on June the 5th. What is the pleasure of the council? Mr. President, based on the recommendation from the yeah. building department, we're going to ask for an additional 30-day table. Second. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to table the resolution an additional 30 days, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for 30 days. Ten, this is a time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of a resolution appro approving the issuance of an alcoholic beverage license. Tony's Italian Specialties doing business as Trey. <laughs> Trey Regazza's. Regazza. Regazza. Okay. You did good, Bob. Has applied for an own and or off-premises retail beer and table Wine license at 319 Broad Street in District 3. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of it? Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? 
Motion carries to adopt. 11 is a resolution authorizing First Amendment tax abasement agreement with Prince Metal Stamping of USA. The original tax abatement agreement was granted in 2011. However, for a variety of business and other reasons, the development and equipping of the facilities has been delayed. The details have not changed. This is just an extension of the completion date to June 30, 2014. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Yes, Mr. President. I want to just clarify or restate something that you've just mentioned for, for clarity's purpose. This doesn't add to the expense of the project. It just essentially adjusts the timeline. Is there any other discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. 12 is a resolution authorizing First Amendment tax abatement agreement with Rod from Rod Fam, Alabama LLC. This regards the same type of tax abatement agreement with Rod Fam as in the previous resolution. This extends the completion date to June the 30th, 2014. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. New business. Is there any new business? Uh, Mr. President, I have an item that I would like to ask for unanimous consent to consider. This is from the engineering department authorizing an agreement with Barnett Jones Wilson LLC for structural engineering design services for the second floor framing at the Gaston Museum of Art. Second. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I make a motion we accept. Second. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Now, this is agreement, it's an hourly agreement, and it's not to exceed $4,000. Is there any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, <coughs> let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Mr. President, I have an item on new business I would like to ask for well, unanimous. We got a vote on this one, then. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did. We did. We did. We did? Yes. We did. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. I have an item uh, that I would like to introduce and ask for unanimous uh, consent to consider today. It is a, uh, from, the, from the engineering department, a resolution authorizing awarding bid request number 3211 uh, for the Stroud Avenue drainage program project to Carcel and C and G construction company for an amount of $163.44. Second. Second. One hundred sixty-three dollars. One hundred sixty-three thousand. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> Did I say one hundred sixty-three dollars forty-four cents? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> second. <laughs> you got a second. You got a second. Take the vote, please. Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Yes, this will get our project, uh, the drainage project on Stroud. Um, started almost immediately. So look forward to um, there being some construction there. And this is also the same company that's doing the, 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 the street from East Chestnut to East Broad behind Jack's. Okay. Any other discussion? Clark, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. See any other new business? Hey, Mr. President, I have one. Uh, city clerk needs to pass out, if you would, we're gonna, please. We're not going to do the Noah's Ordinance. What is it? Ben, we're going to do the Noah's Ordinance today, or are you going to leave it until next week? You're what? You're going to do the Noah's Ordinance today, or are you going to leave uh, it next week? We'll, we'll, we'll leave it next week. We, okay. we need to discuss that. Okay. Yeah, we do. You got it all. Okay. <clears throat> he won't get you now, but you can sit on that one, I can tell you. <laughs> I think it was well, well, well written. That's how we were. Okay. I'd just like to see it. I'm yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask for unanimous consent this morning to consider uh, Resolution 269 
This is a resolution authorizing application for a grant from Etowah County Community Development Committee in the amount of $78,940 for a waterline extension project on Marjory Circle. Second. Now, can see. Sorry, can you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. You now move to consider. Second. Any discussion? Move to adopt. Discussion I've got. I'm not going to move too quick. I want to say that the committee did award us with $15,000 on our last request, and that's why we're requesting the 78940 at the present time. The uh, bid came in at 93940 so we're asking for the difference. Any help we can get from the committee? Okay. Move to adopt. I hope we did that already. We've got the no, discussion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Any other discussion? Clerk, we take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Okay, uh, any other new business? Department reports, committees, are there any? Remarks by the mayor and the council, Ben? The only thing I have to say this morning is I had to uh, a whole lot of pride in our police department this morning, and especially the recipients of, uh, of the medals. Uh, it's kind of like Fourth of July, and it's hard to explain that kind of pride and integrity and character that was displayed this morning. And I appreciate them so much as they know that. I do want to comment on the, the medals that was given out. You know, it's hard to lay in your bed. I live pretty close to where the shooting was going on, where all that took place. I had my CD radio on. I heard everything was going on, you know, and I was thinking about those guys and praying for them. Uh, the guy was shooting at them. They was trying to duck down behind cars. A couple cars got hit with bullets. And I was just thinking, here I am, laying in my bed nice and warm and cozy, and they're out there protecting all the citizens. And I just really want to give those people the biggest thanks I can for making sure they took care of our citizens and it all went down in a perfect way. No one got hurt. And I'm just thankful for that, and I do appreciate the police department. That's all we got. Robert? You know, I, I too want to congratulate the police officers, and, and I hope this is a new mindset in our police department, because I can remember just a few years ago, we've got two mothers who are still grieving because their sons were shot and killed by two, by several police officers. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a new mindset in this department and that we're going to try our best not to uh, pull our guns immediately and start shooting at individuals and, and try to negotiate and work our way through. So again, I congratulate those officers for the fine work that they've done in this instance. Um, I do know that we had the Carver reunion this past week. Uh, uh, Deborah and I attended a meeting, so we didn't get a chance to to attend, so I'm sure Billy going to give us a breakdown and rundown on all the things that went on. Oh, yes. Because I know he was here, so he attended everything for us. So we appreciate you, Billy. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, just want to remind um, everyone that the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center's Community Forum on Payday Lending is tonight at, uh, at the Senior Activity Center from 630 to 730. Uh, refreshments will be uh, provided, so if that's a deal breaker for anybody, food <laughs> will be there. And uh, I think it'll be a good discussion, so please uh, plan to come out. Uh, but again, the uh, community forum on payday lending tonight, uh, Senior Activity Center, 630. Um, for, for those of us that have been paying attention, the uh, transportation bill was signed by the president over the weekend, um, actually on Friday. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, Chad has assured us that uh, based on the feedback that he's getting from, uh, <laughs> from all that, that it doesn't change anything relative to our 411 project. Uh, so we're on the website due to be uh, the bid letting is set for July. So we're excited about uh, that project going forward and uh, look forward to seeing uh, some, uh, some progress there. Um, the last thing I wanted to, to hit on, I mean, there's a number of things I wanted to talk about, but the last thing I want to hit on is... Uh, the, uh, the, the tabling of, of the item relative to uh, the property on Broad Street. Um, what this council has uh, 
has agreed to do and uh, is to table that discussion but with some stipulations as uh, Mr. Avery mentioned earlier. And uh, those stipulations essentially involve um, um, uh, us requiring um, artist renderings, uh, financial projections, a hard timeline of some kind, and there being some level of penalties um, uh, relative to uh, not meeting those timelines. Um, this council is really after some closure as it relates to that, and we're also uh, looking for some uh, tangible, hard options uh, that we can uh, look at, review, and make a decision on. Um, so as the owners are, are, are proceeding uh, with uh, options relative to demolition or restoration, uh, the city will likewise be looking at options relative to restoration or demolition. So uh, again, I am very anxious uh, to, uh, to close out this issue and move forward. Um, and I do want to apologize to those who attended the pre-council meeting and had to see um, what I really don't like to see. Uh, I like to see open discussion. Uh, but uh, but I but I like us to be respectful uh, mm -hmm. in in terms of how we do that, and so uh, we're going to get better with that uh, for those who do plan to attend future meetings. Uh, so that's all I have, Mr. President. Really? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Councilman Williams, you, you you're exactly right, and uh, I hadn't planned on commenting on this, but I, we are all ready to see this you know come to an end, and and it needs to be done in a proper manner so as to benefit the total, the whole city of gas, and not just one portion or one body or one family, but the whole city of gas and must derive some benefit out of whatever happens with this moving forward. And uh, be assured that we, will, we are anxious to see this uh, process resolved and moved over and, 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 and over. So, uh, bear with us. Uh, we hope to get that in the very near future. I also would like to say congratulations to all those uh, officers who have received the, the Medal of Valor today. Uh, Chief, that's a, it's a great thing to recognize our people, our officers, our, whenever they have done something as good as those men did. And we should always give them recognition for a job well done. The uh, Transportation Bill, David, uh, I ever forgot to remind me to call the governor this morning because <laughs> the transportation bill uh, you know, has been approved. I think it's a two-year bill, but now the governor down there sitting on our money for 759 so we need to give him a call and tell him to release some funds so that we can get the extension 759 completed. So be, be mindful of that. That's, that's our big thing in, in, in the city here. We want that done. And the, the, the Carver, and Chief, thank you for the extra patrols and the security that you provided, the police provided uh, over the whole weekend, really. You know, we had, we had events starting on Thursday and Friday. We had the banquet here at the, down at Convention Hall, and then we had the dance at Convention Hall. And then, uh, of course, this one had, had nothing to do with the Carver reunion, but my, my 1962 class of Carver High School uh, celebrated our 50th anniversary on Saturday night. And, and we had security and uh, all of those people who had traveled from as far away as California. Some people, uh, like, the, uh, like, like Robert said last week or week before, uh, we have people from the state of Washington. So it was a good event and I'm sure that the, the city benefited some from having all those people here in the city. It was a wonderful event. Everybody felt comfortable, um, relaxed. Um, the city sponsored these events and mayor, I just want to thank the city for the part that they played in making sure that this was a grand event for all those people coming to visit the city of Gaz. And it was a wonderful event and we had wonderful times. Uh, you just don't know how glad I was to see Monday roll around. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it was beautiful and we enjoyed it and we thank you. And, that, uh, and we have a stranger sitting back there in a blue shirt uh, that uh, is it, it, sitting back there trying to tell somebody that, you know, cut, you know, that's enough. <laughs> Security, would you escort him out of here, please? <laughs> uh, and, and that's all I have. Oh, I'm sorry. District 1 meeting uh, on Monday the 16th. District 1 meeting Monday the 16th at the East Gadsden Recreation Center. Everybody's invited. What time? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And I will have at least one department head from the city there. Uh, may even have Shane there. He always liked to be there to answer questions. But thank you, I. Thank you, sir. Mayor. 
Uh, I too want to say something about the chief, the police department. Uh, you know, we have a very, very good trained professional police department and uh, I think they get better by the month. Uh, they're always on the job. A lot of times you don't really know all the things that do go on in the police department. You keep up with the crime reports and some people say, well, I haven't seen a car. I'm telling you they're out there, which is a good <laughs> thing because you don't see the car. Sometimes that's the way they catch the bad guys when they don't know who's, who's, who is and who isn't an officer. But uh, it's, it's great and we're, we're really proud of our police department. And uh, I would like to say too on the issue on Broad Street, you know, we want to work. We, we don't want to do anything to uh, damage Broad Street. We have uh, other cities who are now copying what we try to do on First Friday and, and all the merchants downtown are specialty shops, most of them, and they've been very successful doing what they do. And uh, I think Kay has probably been to some other cities and explained how they do. We have a lot of people. It's, it's a pretty well-known attended event. And we want to do whatever we can to make it look better, and we're willing to help any way we can, you know, and just go by the rules. That's what we want to try to do. So uh, thank everybody, and I think you did the best job on, on tabling that, and we can get down to some details, and everybody can meet in the middle and get this worked out. Thank you. Mr. President, I forgot. I, my district meeting is going to be next week uh, due to some travel time. We moved it to set, uh, Tuesday. Okay, we moved it to next Tuesday. Uh, will be my district meeting. So I wanted to make that announcement so people can get a, get ahead of themselves and be uh, mindful of that. So it'll be next Tuesday afternoon at Carver at 5 o'clock. Okay. Mr. President, I got one more thing, too. I forgot. I'm sorry. We're having a Save Our Neighborhood meeting the 16th, which was next Monday at 6 o'clock at 8 Community Center for the Oak Park and the Alabama City residents. 6 o'clock at 8 Community Center. Thank you. Mr. President, uh, Shane Ellison will be our guest on Monday night next week, <laughs> 6 o'clock. And there you got that. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to adjourn this meeting. And then yeah. we're going to continue down here what we started upstairs. On the pre-council. <laughs> on the pre-council. So... Uh, I'll entertain a motion we adjourn. So moved. This meeting is adjourned.